we're go. here. Last stop, end of the world. Nice driving bit. Thanks. For fuck. Is this it? It is. Came war. Big step. We circle around and into the valley and then it's back here again. I mean, there isn't even any phone reception. Faced with the grandeur of nature and that's your concern? We're trying to be disconnected for a day. I know that's very hard. How long is this hike again? Roughly 14 miles, give or take. Jesus, you can feel the wind from in here. It's a good thing we've got men to keep us safe. <laughs> I will always protect you, babe. Christ. Okay, guys, make sure you have all your stuff. Water, protein bars, compass, whistle. Why would you need a whistle? Fog. One second it's clear, the next you can't see your hand in front of you. You don't consider team building in Milan. Yes, but this isn't team building. We're already a team, if slightly dysfunctional. Just wonder why we chose hell. I think you'll find it's a tad colder than hell. Did everyone else not notice all the burnt up cars on the way up here? You know, I mean, maybe if someone should stay behind and mind a car. Ben, we all go or nobody goes. Ben, where's your sense of camaraderie? Okay, come on. Let's do it, everyone out. Okay. Oh wow, you can smell the heather. It's so fresh. How are you feeling? Yeah, great. It's the first time I've driven and a cyclist hasn't wanted to kill me. I meant medically speaking. I know. Look, the doctor says I'm in remission, so for now that's good enough. If it gets too much for you, just tell me. Or Ray, we know what you're like. You power through. Okay, everybody, nobody leave any valuables in the car. Backpacks are over here. Looks like your husband's running the show. Mm, the illusion of control. <laughs> Nice camera, Susan. Thank you. Why though? Phones are so good. I got my selfie stick. Just make sure to record everything that Ben does so the office can see what a little bitch he is. We should get a group photo. Everyone line up. We should get one with the car in the background for the police report. Ben! Sorry, my bad. Okay, guys, listen up. So, this path goes for about 2k. It's solid ground, so easy enough. But after that, it's off road. The forecast is showers, but we're already in the clouds, so showers can get pretty severe. The main thing is to wash your footing, avoid the ridges, and watch out for the bog holes. Bog holes? Jesus. And I just want to say thank you all so much for doing this. Um, I know it's not the Riviera, but let's just enjoy ourselves anyway. And if nothing else, we'll be fit by tea time. <laughs> yes, don't forget, set your Fitbits, your smartwatches, whatever devices you have, and upload your steps at the end of the day, okay? That's really, really important. Let's go. <laughs> mm, thank you.
with that, but actually we need one crotch, it's the opposite side. People are so shit. Why would anybody do that? The first part answers the second Another part. Another crusade. She's off. I was wondering, did she say anything? Like what? She wants to have a baby. Which would ordinarily be fine. But I can't have kids. Oh, it's tough. But I mean, most people decide not to have kids these days. State of the world, but she's had a health scare, so... I just think she sees everything as a challenge. She won't take no for an answer. There's talk of a sperm donor. I don't think I reacted very well. Mm, you'd still be the dad. And a good one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a lone parent, though? No. We both know how tough she is. How many people face cancer and do this? Or, or plan children? Yeah. I'm glad she has you. You always look out for her. For everyone. Uh, I'm not so good, really. Such people I like. Bad news, guys. End of civilization. Thanks for the chat. If you ever need a shoulder to cry on. What are you two gathering about? Oh, just stuff. <laughs> Please tell me that's not the way. That's the way, Ben. It's all off road from here, guys. The next 5K, it's pretty rugged. The next 5K? Fuck. Okay, everybody just be careful. All right, single file troops, off we go. So is this a bog or a marsh? Welcome to our 30s. God, I... When you're not in your natural habitat, you don't know what to talk about. It's a bog. I think marshes have reeds and stuff. They're so good at all this. I feel like I have shingles. You should put that on your Tinder profile. It's like being on the moon around here. Yeah, except there's no plants on the moon. You do know that? Yes, I'm aware. I was speaking about the topography in general. Oh. <laughs> Someone paid attention in geography. I saw someone out there. Out there? If there was someone, they might have sunk in a bog hole. It's pretty treacherous. Yeah, I suppose. It was actually really weird. Kind of creepy. Right, Lisa. As the designated guide. Right. Left is no man's land. You brought up the baby, by the way. I knew we would. Should have seen his face when I suggested a sperm donor. 
I bet that went down well. <laughs> Where is he anyway? Oh, here they are. Did you lose my hubby? Ray? Ray! I think he went that way. Spread out. Ray! 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 Guys, over here! Honey, are you okay? I'm fine. I hurt my leg. Stay there, we're coming down. I've been yelling for like 10 minutes. Jesus, what happened? So stupid, I was taking a selfie, I didn't see the edge. Babe, try not to move, okay? You might be concussed. Can you feel your legs? My right one's sore. Fuck. Um. <sighs> Shit. Okay, honey, there's a splinter in your leg. We're gonna have to get it out. Ooh, wait, don't. Why not? If it's deep in, there's blood vessels, arteries. Taking it out could make things worse. Please, he's in pain. I know. Give me the first aid kit. Okay. I think we should tie it up. Give something for the pain. Get back to the car. Ray, we can take it out. But there's a danger of bleeding. Well, I don't want to bleed out in the bog, so. Okay. Just in case you're concussed. That was the most entertaining thing so far. You useless fucker. Sorry. Does anyone have any phone coverage? No. Nothing. I'm fine. I think it's just my pride that's hurt more than anything. Should have waited, dummy. Okay. Right. Get everyone, yeah? You ready to get up? One, One two, 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 three. three. Oh. Okay. okay. Is there a full moon? All of these alpha females. Pray. This is why you and I are doomed, my friend. That splinter could have gone right into your man bag. It wouldn't have mattered. No, sir. In truth, there is a better sex toy, a better book. Even a cat video is more appealing. We are witnessing Quite a literal sense, her downfall. Thanks to you. If this is meant to make me feel better, it's not working. Get used to it. Hang on a second. He's a bad least. I don't think he'll get through. Guys, listen up. The rain's basically turned the ground into a swamp. We need to get to higher ground. Okay, which way? Just over the ridge, there should be a forest. If we can cut through, it should lead to the main road, but... What? It's not public land. Who cares? I mean, who gives a shit? It's not like we have a choice, right? Okay, show of hands, who votes for the forest, yeah? Up. Good. Let's go. Come on, up. I know that face. 
Anything in grey is uncharted. Yeah, but it's a road, right? That's what it says. Okay, well, I think in these circumstances, that's enough. As long as we get the hell out of here. Wonderful. Fuck. Okay, in case of emergency, I don't think it applies, does it? There's another one. Listen, it doesn't matter. If we don't continue, we're just going to keep walking around in circles and he's getting weaker. It's not like the city. People who live in isolation, they like their privacy. For all kinds of reasons. Oh, come on. You make it sound like we're some sort of invasive species. Lise, I negotiate multi-million euro deals for a living. My husband has a piece of fucking tree stuck in his leg. I honestly think that if we meet some yokels, I'll be able to explain the unique circumstance. I don't think we should cross. I think we should stay here. I'll get back to the car. I'll raise an alarm. We have daylight for several hours. Plus, like you said, he needs a rest. Okay, here. When you find help, will you get them to send an airlift? I don't care if we're on the news. Sure. Okay. Be careful, please. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess the age of chivalry is dead. How so? You don't think that should have been you? I don't think it's gone unnoticed that this mountaineering nonsense is not my number one skill. But now that we have some time, I can show you what it is. Oh, yeah? Dream on, Ben. Maybe you can find some sheep to try it on with, though. Pretty shot. We're leaving now, okay? Hey, guys! What's up? We're going through the forest. Come again? I'm not going to sit here while my husband's in pain. We all saw what it was like back there. She's only gone 40 minutes. Yeah, well, I've decided something different. You don't have to come if you don't want. You can stay here. Oh, yeah, because... I've been expressing such fondness for this place all morning. What about the signs? Do you hear anything? Do you see anyone? Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's okay. We'll get you over that fence. Then, guys, what about Lise? She'll figure it out.
Ah, trees. What about them? It's not exactly a gold mine. You know, it makes you wonder why people get so precious. I don't think it's unreasonable. Say it's a farm. Outsiders can bring disease. And what about insurance? They might think we'd accuse them of negligence or something. What is that smell? Whatever it is, it's revolting. What the fuck is this? All right, let's just keep going. No, wait. Susan, leave it. Yeah, Susie, come on. Okay, it's dead wildlife, and that's terrible, but that's not what we're here for, Susie. We have to keep going. Leave it. How the fuck would do this? You guys go, okay? I'll, I'll follow. Oh, let's just get out of here. Ben, you can't do something like this. It's cruelty to animals. I mean, we all know the sanitized version in the supermarket. Does it make me a vegan? No. Am I happy about it? I try not to think about these things. I don't give a fuck, Ben! You can't do something like this! I don't care who these sick fucks are. When we get out of here, I want to report this. Okay, very good. But in the meantime, can we just fucking go? I don't know if now is a good time, but yes. And the baby question. Hmm. What? We've discussed this hundreds of times, and now is the moment that you decide to say yes. I feel like you leave me. Babe, that's not the right reason to say yes. I don't want you to do this just for me. I want you to do it for you as well. If it makes you happy, mm -hmm. that's all that matters to me. I think you have a fever. I do. Love sickness. God. That's a car. <laughs> oh, thank God. Maybe not. Okay, everybody just stay calm. I don't think your gay wave's gonna help us much. Who breaks the ice? Is it us? Or them? Look, I'll explain the situation. This was my idea. No, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Morning. Afternoon. How's it going, boys? Girls. Strangers, is it? Out for a bit of roaming? Evie. They lost? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, a friend of ours got into a, an accident up with the bog. Taking a shite, was he? Evie, shut up. We just got cut off by the rain. What do you think they're saying? Let's just go back and wait for Lise. Guys, I, I don't like this. Not to spoil the party, but I don't think I can make it back there. Okay, look. Nobody say anything about anything. Hi. I'm sorry for disturbing, but my husband fell. I hear you were out in the hill, yeah? Yeah, hiking for charity. What's the cause? Uh, cancer research. Waste of time and money. Sure there's no cure for that fucker. 
Don't mind that fella. You're all right. The leg is it? Yeah. If you're having it back there, we'll give you a ride. No, really. We're fine. We don't want to disturb you. If you could just point us in the right direction, actually. Well, it's, uh, it's several miles, you know. Rough ground. The river is swollen after all that rain. There's no bridge that direction. So, look, we get you halfway there. You can make a phone call. If you're sure it's no trouble. Driving's fierce hard work. Stevie, give him a hand there, will you? Thank you. Why don't you get in the back with Goldilocks there? Is like it hot or cold? This is our aircon out here. Hot, is it? <sighs> so do they pay us for walking? That's sponsorship. You uh, walk a certain number of miles and then you raise a certain amount. It's it's like fundraising. Well, that's a mighty explanation. I'm all clear now. But for walking, though? Pretty much. Pretty all right. So are we close to your farm? Why? No reason. Just curious. Curious people, are you? No. Did you see a sign when you came in from the bog? This is all private property, you know, no right away. I didn't see any sign. Did you see any sign? Who? Who? Nothing. Only city people would be paid for walking. You know, yours are cute. In every way. So you own the whole forest. I, I believe there's a lot of money in timber. Beetles. Fungus rot. No money. The damp, you see. <sighs> the fucking damp. What a shame. Oh, it's a shame, aren't it? I like your Jeep. What it's do you like about it? It's old. Yeah. Unique. You see, if Stevie had put the isopan on like I'd asked him to, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Sorry to get you warm and dry. Make a phone call from in there if you want. No, honestly, we're fine out here. Thanks. That's fine. I did to say bad, especially that poor man. Sit him down there. <sighs> Honey, you're gonna be all right. We're gonna get some help, okay? Take a seat at the table. Come on. Stevie, run up to Pappy's old room there. 
I'm going to Melbourne Rescue. Get over here quick. You hear me looking at you? Should we have a cup of tea? Oh. Uh, it's great to get the weight off the feet, huh? Thanks for your help. He's going to be all right, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Got a bit of heat and told me to be right as rain. So you're all uh, brothers? Oh, well, me and Ty. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm new, by the way. I never introduced myself. Um, uh, well, the other fellow, what would you call him? Cunt. Nephew. <laughs> primitive around here, do you know? Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Oh, yeah. How's your constitution? <laughs> we call it the privy house. It's, it's, uh, silk that way. You're right. Thanks. Oh, it's, uh, the maid's day off, by the way. Just so you know. I made to get a tetanus shot. Is all right? I was just uh, admiring your fish. Oh, that's pikey. Why <laughs> did took that finger off me? I was trying to get a copper spoon out of his mouth. And <clears throat> yeah. Give him a fierce whack of the head, though. And there he is now, up there, looking down on us, huh? How long do you think it'll take for help to arrive? How long do you think it'll take help to arrive, Ty? It shouldn't take very long. It shouldn't take very long. What line of work do you do? Business. Not journalism, now. No. How'd you get on? Fine. Do you take photographs? Just Heather? Oh, nothing else, no? No. No. Did you manage to get through to someone? Oh, yeah. Some lads coming up with yoke for fixing fuckers' legs. Will you show us the header? Um, it's a dead battery. Using a flash is a whore. Do you not have a spare? Is something funny? No. Then what? People from the city think people from the country are fucking Amadons. Egypt of the highest order. Culties. Do you know where the word came from? Cool on tea, literally. 
the back end of the house. Guys, we don't want any trouble here. I sure know you don't. The gormless head on you. But you mean to bring you trouble, mean to in, trouble on me? in on me? Oh, yeah. You saw something. You think you saw something. But your notions looking around all high and mighty. Do you think I'm going to let you walk over here and bring shite in on me, huh? huh? I got some bad news for you. Around, will you? Lads, this is all a big mistake. Just keep the camera and we walk right out of here. How much would the other say that? I said I won't tell. Hey, do you think any of them ever meant it? <laughs> no. shit about your deer or your wild animals. I happen to like venison. What I like more is breathing. There's a photograph on the camera. Five years round the car. Jeep. Don't be a smart ass this stage of your life. Same fucking thing. Not really like. I'm fucking warning you. So, five years. Who's Blondie? Just some hill walker we bumped into. Out for a stroll. Do you know what the opposite of a coach is? A Jackie. They couldn't tempt you his designation for a worthless fellow. You read that somewhere? Huh? Where are you? A worthless fellow. Yeah. You see, when you were sleeping, I had a route around in your fall. And I found loads of pictures of Blondie and yourself. Different places. Oh, nice places now. Okay, okay. She, she's a colleague. She just went back to, to the jeep, but she's not involved. She, she wasn't even on your land. You're, you're saying it is a jeep? Will you shut up? I'll give you a root up the fucking hole. Why does he get to call it right, but I'm the fucking cunt? Because you are a cunt. So, how long since Blondie went back to your vehicle? About an hour, an hour and a half. Now, 
Stevie, I want you to stay here. Mind our guests. Mind, you hear? You don't see me nodding. I knocked the fucking head off you in a minute. Just do what you're told for once, will you? Mind you. Oh, and uh, just relax. You'll be grand. What's wrong with you? There's a lot of them. More than usual. Do you think I don't know that? If we don't find this black sheep, we'll say goodbye to the farm. Stevie and his fucking pelts. Friendly boy. Do you have any porn on this? No. Are you gay? No. Like you're good looking. Not that I'd fuck you now. But you have a certain aura about you. <laughs> Tell me, which of the two girls with you is best? Is it Goldilocks or the brown bear? They're good people. I'm not fucking talking to you about people. I'm talking about carnal knowledge. See, to me, you're a strange lad. You're not married, you've no ring in you. You're not gay, so you say. So what's the word for you then, huh? Jackine? No, wait, well, you might be, but... No. Can you be a frigid man? Look, if you're being forced to do this, you don't have to. There is another choice here. And that's that. Help us to get out of here. We'd said that you did, we won't press any charges. You'll probably get all of this. The, the, the whole farm? Yes. Beardy fella's right. You think we're stupid. But worse, you think I'm stupid. No, 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 no. I think you're actually clever. You know the right choice here. And how would you think that? Are you reading me mind? Because if you are, what am I thinking now? I'm thinking. Where are those two fuckers hide the custard creams, huh? Down her. Put on your happy face. Another minute we'd be fucked. Hiya! Are you Lisa? 
We, we found your friends. They're safe. They told us to come and get you. They need you to drive them. You, you can follow on up and out in your car if you like. This bitch is deaf or dumb. No. No, she's not. She's neither. Is she taking our picture? There's no signal. Didn't you rip all the wires out of the 5G mast, eh? She won't be sending them. I could shoot her now instead of standing here like a gombine. Oh, 50 yards from the motorway and a motorcycle goes past and sees you. Oh, that's some fucking plan, all right. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go up there and introduce yourself. Show what a fine, upstanding fellow you really are. And come here to me. No messing. Make it clean. And when you're finished, get the car keys. And that fall. What the fuck's happening? I made a mistake. I made a terrible mistake and now we're in trouble. I don't know how to get us out of it. Can you get loose? I'll try. I think I can cut these. Okay. Hang on. Okay. I knew you were cute. Cute as a fox. Please leave us alone. I'm sure you're awake as well. Mighty. I'm sure who's talking, talking to you in close. You see your husband. Is he rich? 
Jeez, he must be unless you're blind. Are you blind? I am rich. I'll give you money. Just let us go. Go where? The guards? Oh, yeah, Your Honor. Sure, we had him tied up, but sure, it was only the crack. Oh. <laughs> Can I have sex with her? <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. <clears throat> if you lay a finger on me, I swear I'll kill you. You kill me? Then how'd you do that? Do you blaze your eyes? Can you breathe fire? Huh? Hubby? No, sure, he's not answering. If you let us go, drive us somewhere safe. I'll give you a hundred thousand cash, no questions. Sure, you get that for washing diesel? Two hundred. No, two million. No, no. Four million. All right. Yeah, I can do that, whatever you need. Fucking wasting time. How about you, Brownie? Let's see you try kill me now, huh? Where is it you think you're going? Thank <laughs> you. 
Stay ready. Stay ready. Yeah. Steady, where are you? Oh, just taking a shite. <sighs> All right. Listen, don't fuck anything up there. Yeah, it's going grand. You fucking crunch it. All right. Dirty little bollocks. You're okay. Did they hurt you? I don't know, but they will. Where's Ben? I'm ready. Oh my God. Listen, we're gonna fight this. We're going to get out of here, all right? Can you get up? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Tour of the old farm, aren't you? Seen all the best places. See that? That's Dennis. He was a fierce fucking beast now. Whatever happens, trust me. Did you say something? How's your shoulder? Oh, it's throbbing. Sure, like all the best parts of me. How's your husband? Ah, no, that's a bad fucking question. I went in to see him there now, and he's bled out like a stuck pig. You didn't see the yoke he pulled from his leg, look. That's it. Like, look, who goes into the bog, a place with no fucking trees, and gets that stuck in him? Are you sure it wasn't in the woods? No. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm only being a whore. It's your fault, you know. He's dead. And how's that? You provoked him. I'm sure I was only dancing with you. And don't be wearing those yokes if you don't want to poke. You might as well put a sign on it that says, enter here. Can you even get a girlfriend that you don't have to rape? Rarely. So you're traveling then? Well, you get bored around the place. The only cure for pain is pleasure. Right. Are you afraid you won't be able to? Hey, don't be fucking daring me now, woman. I could get up in the winds. What about you now, Goldilocks? Are you the quiet type? Put the knife down and you'll see. Oh, such fine words. They're such fine women. What I won't do to you now. <laughs> Move and I'll cut your fucking throat! This fucking horse! Put those on him. So that's your thing, is it? You're a rapist and a pervert. Oh, I am plenty more things besides. Mm. <sighs> He's fucking high. No, I'm low. I'm down in the earth with the weeds. Put that on him.
We're going for a walk. You're going to show us the way out of here. I thought we were making love, but now we're making war. Check his pockets. Is that your asshole, Uncle? Stevie can't talk right now. Did you kill him? Nope. He's going to rot in jail. Just like you and your inbred brother. Is that so? You don't believe me? Maybe I'll make him squeal. That's what you like, isn't it, Pain? And what about your friend, huh? Lisa? When well, she's here with us, do you want her to suffer? You're going to do what you want. There's nothing I can say. But if you think that there's something worse than getting your pet animal to kill my husband, my friend, to try and rape me, then think again. There's always a fear worse than death. I promise you. Then I guess we're on the same page. These radios don't have much range, so you're close by. I'm going to leave you a parting gift. Stay the fuck away from us. Stevie, you fucking cunt. Was that wise? No, it fucking wasn't. When that horse Maddie makes me look like an altar boy. You're making a fine mess of this now, brown bear. Wait outside. Move. Sure, I wasn't actually gonna hurt you. This sunny mess has gone wrong. I heard what you said to the other fella. The bull, you called him. The things you were gonna do. <sighs> you're sick and you're twisted. You are fierce fucking wily when it comes to fake sleeping. I'll tell you, only a spider or a snake would seem that dead. They'd be watching and listening, hatching their own fucking schemes to eat you alive. Stop talking. So, so don't show you the way then. What is wrong with you? Did you know I can take the skin off based in five minutes with the blunt knife? And them hides is tougher than us. So just imagine what I do with you. But don't be scared now. I like women. I like you more than anything else in the world. Look, maybe, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. What's to say a few magic mushrooms and we're all fine? Rosie in the fucking garden. Don't tell me you started a fire. Oh, you're going to be riling a monster you don't want to be riling. If it was a gift you wanted to get him, he's awful fond of badgers. What have you taken? All I'll tell you is, this is the worst fucking escape I've ever seen. Nice fucking nuts. Well, do you like nuts? Which way? <sighs> If you're lying, you're going to die in a very painful way. You're getting a taste for this, you know.
Are you burning something at home? Where are you? I'm in Spain sunbathing. Where do you think? Black Sheep is dead. Stevie killed two of them. And the other two have Stevie. You're fucking joking me. Yeah, I'm joking. The shed is on fire. Not that little fucking horse cunt Stevie has fucked everything up from here to China. Some fucking joke. If you didn't pass them on the low road, they're coming out this way. I'll wait here, there'll be two sitting ducks. Yeah, well, I'll be downwind here. So don't fucking shoot me as well. Don't have a real dog, that's all I'm fucking saying. I say it's all of the same. A chihuahua or a shih tzu. Have you ever seen the faces on it? Like, how in the Lord would you buy a dog like that? Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? Like what? Schizophrenia. Is that the one you like loads of fellas? Geez, that'd be great, wouldn't it? You know, most people want to be Batman or Superman. I don't like wearing rubber, if you know what I'm saying. Fucking disgusting. <sighs> a woman scorned, huh? I use her right to be mad, sure. It was a fierce thing done to us. I'm shamed. Black as me arse. Go on, so. Cut me throat. I tell you, murder's not so bad. But people are. They be telling you one thing, looking at you. You're great. And then pulling your guts out at Back the same the time. Back the off. Did you ever think that maybe you deserve it? That you're the worst of them all? <sighs> all the time. Jeez, I know I'm a pure fucking cunt. But at the same time, I'm to help you now. You better be, or I swear. <sighs> That's not swearing, woman. You're in the fucking sticks now. Just move. You 
know what, actually? That was something your husband did. Pulling that yoke from his leg. Like, do you think he knew he was gonna die? Like, do you know that you're going to die? I thought that leash would keep you quiet, but you obviously like the pain. <sighs> Pain's just like fucking life. After a while, you don't fucking feel it anymore. Don't be so sure. Would you torture me, would you? I suppose you are, in a way. Do you like it? <sighs> oh, my God. I'm always thinking that civilization is a fine line. We have this yoke on the farm, a pear. No, not the fruit now, but this metal thing. And in the Spanish Inquisition, they used to push it right up inside you. And there's a handle on it for winding, and out it comes like a flower. We should have fucking gagged you. You sound friendly at all. We don't like psychos. Ah, uh, listen, girls, he's all on the fucking blob or what? We're out here in the wild having a, a nature experience. And God, oh God is nature. No, no, what I was thinking was, maybe it wasn't brave what your husband did. Maybe you were a bad wife. And he says to himself, I'd rather die here and live with you. Say <laughs> See you alone. Did she die, yeah? This is fuck now. Everybody's fucking dying. I can save you, you know. You have to be smart now. You're not in your office anymore. You're in mine. And in my office, things is different. Number one thing, I'm the boss. Not those lads, me. And there'll be no fucking working either. Unless... Unless you call riding working, which I, I suppose it is. I'll make you an offer, Brownie Peeps. If you marry me, I won't fight you. Remember, you chased here after me. You don't see the gazelle chasing the lion, or the penguin after the great white, do you? No, you don't. So don't fucking cut yourself, woman. It's marriage or death. Well, fucking time, Fizz. I have the bitch now. Do you have any idea what the whole group of them? Oh. <laughs> 
Don't move you. I told you to mind the farm. I told you to keep an eye on the guests. A thousand fucking times I told you. Don't. I'm shot in the guts. It's gone in the head, yeah. I want to tell you something. Listen to me. You're not my nephew from Timahoe. Your mother was a guest at the farm. My guest. And when you dropped out, there was a bucket of cold water waiting for you. But you... You never made a sound. Didn't cry or nothing. And that was the only time that you were never a pain in my fucking hole. But you've gone too far this time, Stevie. There's no going back now. You're done. Bet you never thought this is how your day would turn out, huh? Down here amongst the animals. There's two choices. You can go back to the farm and talk about your life. I can kill you here and now. Go to hell. Look around, where do you think you are? The camping site? You think aiming your gun makes you scary? It doesn't. I faced worse. So kill me. I don't care. We've seen a photograph of you on the phone. Bald head and a tube coming out of your nose. It's a cancer, isn't it? Hmm? Well, if you think that's the most painful thing in life, I'm afraid you're underestimating it. I'm not scared of you. I warned you. I put up the signs, no trespassing, but you still had to walk onto my fucking land, didn't you, huh? You could have let us go, like a normal, civilized person. Civilization's where you live. Where I live, people are worse than you. The city eats you alive, slowly. <laughs> daddy! Are you my daddy, are you? Well, it's great to fucking meet you, Daddy. <laughs> Who's the fucking daddy now, huh? You came back. Sorry I left. Are you okay? Yeah. Alive.